Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva, welcome back to European Universalis 4, playing as the Iroquois. As you might have seen before, um, I played a couple of episodes as a special for Thanksgiving last week. Actually, when this came out, it's eight days ago. And now that civilization is over, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to continue this game. Because I really wanted to. And I don't want to make room for it by skipping Prussia. I mean, why should I? Oh, I'm a little bit out of breath and I don't know why. Hmm. Anyway, we're saving up for some tech. Hee 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 here he comes again. Boat, boat, no, card, boat, card, boat, card, boat. Here it will be a card again. Eh, a card again. Uh, yeah. Um... Not really that funny, but nonetheless. Um, ooh, we can build a palisade in Wampanoag. Sure, why not? Where are we? Oh, yes, yeah, Seneca is where we have our settler right now. 20% chance to increase the population by 25, growing the colony by an average of 60.6 people per year. It's not bad. That's actually a very freaking high chance, to be honest. Yeah. That's by 25 people. Ah, there it went. It just went from 201 to 227. So, um, who are my vassals again? We have Micmac as a vassal. Pochelega as a vassal. Uh, Ojibwe, they moved away. So now I'm too far away from them to vassalize. <laughs> anyway, um, Earthwork, more defense. Sure, why not? I mean, at some point, we don't have any more buildings to build. So we might as well. There are claims that local fishermen have improved ship design. If we do a careful study of their ships and try building a copy, our best admirals believe that our naval technology will benefit a lot for the future. Uh, yeah, sure, spare no expenses. Better diplotech. Oh, I can smell the first level of diplomatic tech coming. Actually, it allows us to build ships. <laughs> Straight up building ships. That's something new. Native ideas. We're working on them. Uh, we have three military ones and three admin ones. And all diplomatic ones, of course. Focused on that primarily. And we can build more stuff. A great trail. More manpower. Well, that's not a lot, though. Um, earthworks. Let's just build a few more earthworks. Works. Uh, speed four. Um, speed five actually makes the game run just as fast, but at a lower frame rate for some reason. Poetan left the coalition against us. Let's actually move to this. Yeah, that's the downside of using the <laughs> the political map mode here because oh Miami grew, but yeah, the downside in that. There's so much gray area because <sighs> because it's not colonized just yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we were to colonize a tikka a at least that's how I think you should pronounce it. If we were to get that, then we would lock up a lot of back area over here away from the uh, Europeans at least until they just come around from the north here yeah I want to get as much coast as possible to keep them out as long as possible it's gonna be a pain nonetheless so our ideas there are no div colonists in here would like to get more colonists though so Maybe exploration is a decent idea. Gets us just causes belly against pagans for free. Um, let's also have the global settler increase. Maybe expansion is a better one for us. Um, recruitment time use yeah because this is all useful. Rather yeah except for the finishing it up. <laughs> Burman causes belly against less advanced non-pagan nations in Asia and Africa. Uh, naval force limits is okay. Another colonist. Well, that's quite a few. Global tariffs. I'm not going to use that at all. 20 settler increase. Colonial range is okay. 
explorers and conquistadors not really that much of a use i mean we already know it the entire oh god oh sorry oh i'm so sorry oh wow and we but what i was gonna say is we know the entire area that we can colonize already we already have knowledge of the entirety of north america so that's also not that uh and what is this merchant steering towards inland okay plutocratic is not that bad then either hmm but yeah hmm the ideas trade well eventually but it is going to be either expansion or exploration expansion everything is useful except for the light bulb and exploration the second and third are useless and the fifth is useless well because cloning arrays we're just going to go neighbor hopping anyway so i think that the fact that exploration is half of it is useless uh makes expansion ideas better also it gives us that merchant and i think three colonists is overkill that's what i feel anyway but first we have to get to that point regardless so there's that uh, 152, yeah, diplom diplomatically, we're doing great in points. Uh, let's finish up the earthworks. Great news, tobacco. That is actually good news, tobacco is a very high-valued resource. Uh, unknown in Europe until brought from Americans in the late 16th century. Yeah. So that, that should grow in price over the years. Oh wow, colony just bumped itself up the last few months. Provincial unrest, why are you in unrest? Oh, because we decreased autonomy, that's right. How long is that gonna stay around? Oof. Jesus, 21 more years. No, well. Promising a trader, we gain a trader. Oh boy. So that's simply a plus two with trading. Well, Abenaki Revolt. Um, yeah, I'd like to do the negotiations. Um, that would only give us one loan. Because that's just a six month uh, nationwide downside versus a very high amount of. Uh, Bad things for a longer period, as well as a big uprising. Those aren't always that nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Ojibwe decided to join us again. Close by, so we can actually simply vassalize them or offer it again when we do get the relations up a bit more. So we get to 160, then we need a little bit more. Um, probably proclaiming a, proclaiming a guarantee is one of them. And then a gift or well access, offer them access. There we go. I do wonder how big the gift has to be for them to accept it. But then we do get another vassal. They, it's just lovely that they moved back into range again. They were in Timmy Scumming, I think. And my gift of... Oh, crap. We do need some more money for that first. Ay, ay, ay. So, we just have to save up. Wow, are we really big? No, interest isn't that bad. And let's drop our military maintenance a little bit. So, we get a little bit more money quicker. So, yeah. They do have a few years cooldown on the moving around. So, that's always good. I get that I can build stuff, but... Um, no, let's maintain the diplomat for now. Two for that, and one for three sisters field. Only three more buildings, and then whenever Seneca becomes a full colony, we can build more there again, but... For now, that's actually quite far along uh, already. Hmm... Uh, Roughly Pennsylvania over here. Roughly New York. And we own actually everything of New York except for 
The Spectrum in Manhattan, probably. New Jersey. Delaware. All of the states. Maryland. Why am I so bloody tired all of a sudden? I have no idea. And here's a gift. Now I just wait for the ability to resend a diplomat on the 2nd of January, 1480. I wonder how far along the Europeans are oh, for vassalization. There we go. Yay, more money. Oh, wow. 0 0.03 a month. And they broke their alliance. Well, obviously they did. Um, who is this? 189, 196. We're almost at max relations anyway. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> um, yes, let's repay that loan now. There we go, no more loan. 490, not bad. Uh, recall diplomat, let's send it to the other vassal. No, not send him an insult. Why the hell would we do that? Ridiculous. Um, improving McMax, yes, I know, I'm working on it. Hmm. Huh. So, like, there's not that much to do here until we get to, uh, until the Europeans get here or we get a colony finished. Let's finish at Three Sisters Field in Wampanoag. So, that's built everywhere. No one can get rid of that anymore, I suppose. We do go coast to coast, which is also quite cool. Well, <laughs> lake to coast, I should say. Oh well, string sun. Bands forming and splitting up is a fairly common occurrence and does not normally generate serious disputes. Damn it, need to pause. Serious disputes. But a recent case has required our intervention. The son is leaving his father's band with a large group of followers against the will of his parents. The father requests we intervene on his behalf to keep the band together and avoid weakening his authority in the tribe. The son stays, gain to unrest or... Bands need to be flexible. Okay, um, I like this one, actually. It does reduce our tax for a while. Which is quite a bit. Well, it's not that bad. 3.8. But it also decreases unrest. The split should be allowed. Um, a generation of cowards. Any young years of peace of this may the disturbs. Oh, bad discipline for 10 years. Or lose manpower. I'll lose the manpower because we regain that in three years while the discipline lasts 10 years. So, um, just at 3.8, it's down to 3.5. It's only 0.3 income a month decrease then. It's not all that bad. I wish we could uh, clay. Natives cannot fabricate claims. Do I have something to do against them? Nope. But it would just be an aggressive war. Which we could easily win and everything, but... Especially with our vassals joining in. Huh. We'll make it even easier. But yeah. Great trail. Let's build one. I can't actually build anything right now, which is a good thing that it disappears. Um, how can we actually build more units though? Yeah, we can have one more archer. Uh, let's slower. It's a bit slower in Wampanoag, but it should be fine when it comes to our supply limit, so... Why not? Let's try and reach that maximum level of uh, supply. And let's see. Boosting our stability, 72. Well, it's not bad. We're only getting four a month right now. We're getting 11 diplomatic power, which is astounding. So, that gives us to the tech. 
in just over a year now actually we get the second level of diplotech wow the hype is real there's naval attrition allow client states and advanced casus belly at level 22 takes long enough um you know what i'm bored no 10 years are you kidding me 73 wow we need two more years and the last building will build for a while until seneca is done filling up um yeah attacking the euron would actually ooh, put with Tony as well now Ooh. But yeah, attacking the Euron would actually allow us to expand a little bit more. They do want to expand bigger and bigger. And these provinces never get that problem with the... Hang on, no. No, no, it's still there. Colonies cannot have an autonomy lower than 50%. Hmm... England has the most power in the Chesapeake Bay. Are you seriously kidding me? How are they having power here anyway? Over Apparently England is overextended. I don't know on what. Huh. How can England be overextended, I wonder? I have no freaking clue. Come on, September. I can actually tech up. And do stuff with my money, maybe. Oh, yeah. Buildings that later on cost 50. These are just very cheap buildings that we can build as natives. But after a while, they just become extraordinarily expensive in comparison, at least. Basic buildings. 734. So how's it doing now with the growth? Where do you see? Didn't oh, here it is. Forty percent chance. So an average of one hundred and twenty people per year. Not bad. Kone Uesote Wanondadon. Names right. Um. Yeah. Oh wow! They got closer again. Interesting. Well, relatively close. Okay, let's, um, accommodation with natives. Oh, they lose some ferocity. Yeah, I wanted to annex these two at the same time. But actually, it doesn't really matter. No, let's just start it. Let's just start the process. Five each month, so it takes until April, apparently. And these guys I can start in... January already, cool. Uh, visit from shady people, let's get the prestige. And there it is. There it is. Um, yeah, diplomatic tech level two, here we are. Trade range up, enables bark, cog, and galley. Next one, settler increase, plus 15. And currently would be slated in 12 years only. Holy crap. I'm going to leave on the diplomatic uh, focus a little bit longer. 15, 17, but we don't have the 100% bonus yet on both of these, so... I think we might be the first one here of the natives to go tech. Uh, let's see. 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1. 1, 1, 1. Everyone else seems to be just 1, 1, 1, and we're 1, 2, 1. Ha, ha, ha. Much better. Um, let's unlock this again. And we actually should be able to build some shifts now as well. So, um, yeah, we can actually build a couple of barks. Let's build two barks. We're going to be sailing. Almost done in Seneca with our colony as well. And, oh, there we integrate it. It's a slow process. Yes, it is. Diplomacy. Let's annex them. Takes a while to do, of course. Only two per month because of our uh, reduced uh, diplomatic reputation now. 
Okay, hang on. R. Yeah, we do need to get rid of these guys. Anyway, um, yeah. I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date in the future. And I'll see you guys later.